do you do you think that world governments would view cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum as a threat to their own, I guess, centralized uh, centralized currencies such as the U.S. dollar or chi China's yuan or even the Japanese yen? Do you think that? Uh, I mean, do you think it's a threat to the global monetary system that we that that we've had in place for? Mm. I mean, for, since the beginning of time, basically. So I think what. In my, in my opinion, I wouldn't regard it as, I don't think people see it as a threat. I think they see it as an opportunity for assets to be hidden effectively from tax people and from tax collectors. And that is possibly where it becomes the biggest threat. But in terms of the sheer amount of money in crypto trading compared to real term assets or real world assets, it's just not comparable. You know, it's like one or 2% of the entire world's wealth. It's, it's not that great. Uh, I don't think it's a threat in that sense, but I think what it could do and what I would like to see is it actually offering a new model for the way that we manage centralized currencies. Because mm -hmm. at the moment we have this system where it's, you know, you and I as a, an average citizen, we can go on to say the central bank of England and we can see, okay, they're raising interest rates, they're printing pounds or printing dollars or whatever happens to be in which currency. But there's no real way for you or I to track where that money goes. You know, it's completely impossible for us to do it as ordinary citizens. But if it was done in a similar way that the blockchain is managed, you could, as an ordinary citizen or as an economist or as you know anybody, go and actually see where the money is going. Okay, you know, this million dollars was printed and it was given to this bank, and this bank then lent it out to that. You can actually start to trace the way that the money is going, and I feel that that would create a lot more transparency in the world and allow economists and world leaders and uh, everybody essentially to understand more of where assets in the world are moving. And I think that that itself would be a real benefit to how world leaders could actually plan out and understand how to budget future actions mm -hmm. because Again, you know, you go back to the 2008 financial crisis, vast, vast amounts of money were printed and yeah. given to banks in order to bail them out. I have no understanding of where that money's gone, and I have no understanding of where to even go to find out where that money's gone. <laughs> and I bet yeah. the average person doesn't. Now, if this was all done in a similar system to blockchain, even though I wouldn't necessarily know how to do it myself, I'd know where to go, and I'd know the skill to learn. You know, you can see the transactions, you can read the codes. So in that sense, I do regard it as a bit of a threat because to me, the technology itself seems to be almost an evolution of where mm -hmm. the financial system should go. And at some point over the next 50 years, maybe 20 years, I do believe that most centralized currencies will be managed in a similar way to the way the blockchain currently works. They'll have their own blockchain structure because it just makes things more efficient and effective than the current traditional system. It, it doesn't work very well. You know? yeah. If you go to transfer money halfway across the world, which I've done an unfortunate amount of times, mm -hmm. you know, it can take sometimes three days to wire funds from one account to another. Yeah, but Doing it in the world of blockchain, it takes maybe 10 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. And I can see exactly where it's been and I know exactly how much it costs. I don't need to talk to anybody on the phone. I don't need to go through customer services. It just mm -hmm. works. Right. And the technology itself is there and so in that sense yes i think it's a threat but i also think it's a huge opportunity and somebody probably of our generation in the future will end up becoming a world leader or will be you know the head of the ftc or something like that and they will start to make these moves and they'll start to progress things forward because i do think it's the way that the world will go and it really would surprise me if in you know my children's time centralized currencies were still managed the way they are now. That would be surprising to me. Hey guys, Jordan here. Just wanted to send you a personal little thank you for sticking around and watching us here at Trade Delicious. If you did enjoy the content, consider subscribing. Everything we do here is completely free. And of course, we have some other video suggestions here which you might love. We will see you in the next video.